When one thinks of Texas, images of sprawling plains, bustling cities, and vibrant culture often come to mind. However, hidden within the vast landscape is a region so harsh and unforgiving that few dare to call it home, the Texas Badlands. Texas Badlands are not officially recognized as a distinct geographical area, but they encompass regions characterized by dramatic geological formations and challenging living conditions. Despite its rugged beauty, this area remains largely uninhabited. What makes this terrain so difficult? And why do people avoid living here? Let's delve into the difficulties of the Texas Badlands. Geography. Texas Badlands describes various rugged areas in Texas, particularly areas like Palo Duro Canyon State Park and Big Bend National Park. These regions feature eroded cliffs, deep ravines, and unique rock formations that create a striking landscape. Palo Duro Canyon State Park covers approximately 30,000 acres and features stunning geological formations, including colorful rock layers and iconic hoodoos. While Palo Duro Canyon is a popular tourist destination, it remains remote from larger urban centers. The nearest towns are several miles away, creating a sense of isolation that can deter potential residents from settling in the area. Big Bend National Park is situated in the remote southwestern region of Texas, along the Rio Grande, and covers approximately 1,252 square miles. The park features a diverse landscape that includes desert, mountains, and deep canyons, with the Chisos Mountains rising dramatically to an elevation of 7,825 feet at Emory Peak. The rugged terrain poses significant challenges for infrastructure development. Roads are few and often poorly maintained, making transportation difficult. Many areas are accessible only by foot or all-terrain vehicles, adding to the region's remoteness. This lack of infrastructure makes it challenging for residents to access essential services such as healthcare, education, and employment opportunities. The soil in badland areas is often rocky and lacks the nutrients necessary for farming. The rocky terrain makes it difficult to cultivate crops or raise livestock, which are essential for sustaining a community. Climate. The climate in the Texas badlands is predominantly arid or semi-arid, characterized by extreme temperature fluctuations and limited rainfall. Summers can be particularly unforgiving with daytime temperatures often soaring above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The relentless heat can create an oppressive environment, making outdoor activities uncomfortable and potentially dangerous. In contrast, winters in the region can bring a stark change, with nighttime temperatures occasionally plunging below freezing. This dramatic shift affects daily life and poses challenges for any agriculture or livestock management attempts. Rainfall in the Texas Badlands is scarce and unpredictable. But when rain does occur, it often comes in the form of sudden, heavy downpours that can lead to flash flooding. These sporadic storms can cause rapid erosion and damage to the landscape, making it even more challenging for any potential residents to establish a stable home. The combination of extreme temperatures and insufficient rainfall creates an inhospitable environment for sustained human habitation further solidifying the Texas Badlands as a largely uninhabited region. From beauty to tragedy. In recent years, both Big Bend National Park and Palo Duro Canyon State Park have seen tragic incidents resulting in fatalities. In Big Bend National Park, a 24-year-old hiker's body was discovered along the challenging Marufo Vega Trail after concerns arose when his vehicle was found parked for several days without any overnight backpackers registered in the area. Despite search efforts involving park rangers and helicopters, the hiker was located in a remote area, underscoring the trail's dangers, especially during extreme heat conditions where temperatures can soar near 100 degrees even in late October. In another case, a 31-year-old man and his 14-year-old stepson also lost their lives in Big Bend after hiking during dangerously high temperatures. Similarly, Palo Duro Canyon faced a heartbreaking incident when a 17-year-old boy was rescued from the Lighthouse Trail, but later died at the hospital due to heat-related issues. This incident occurred during a particularly hot day when temperatures reached approximately 103 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Such fatalities highlight the critical need for awareness and preparation when exploring these beautiful yet treacherous landscapes. The call for conservation. The protection and conservation of the Texas Badlands involve collaborative efforts aimed at preserving the unique ecosystems and wildlife that inhabit these rugged terrains. At Big Bend National Park, located along the Rio Grande, conservation initiatives focus on protecting the diverse habitats within the Chihuahuan Desert. The desert is home to over 1,200 plant species and numerous wildlife. The park's management emphasizes habitat restoration, invasive species control, and public education to promote responsible tourism. The stunning geological formations, including the Chisos Mountains and Deep Canyons, are also protected to ensure that future generations can appreciate their natural beauty. Similarly, Palo Duro Canyon State Park implements conservation measures to safeguard its unique landscape, which is the second largest canyon in the United States. Efforts include habitat preservation for native wildlife, such as mule deer and various bird species, as well as maintaining trails and facilities for visitors. Tourism. Tourism in the Texas Badlands, particularly in areas like Palo Duro Canyon State Park and Big Bend National Park, plays a crucial role in the local economy while showcasing the region's stunning natural beauty. Palo Duro Canyon attracts visitors with its dramatic landscapes, including the iconic Lighthouse Rock Formation, and offers various outdoor activities such as hiking, camping, and horseback riding. Although there are many trails in Palo Duro Canyon State Park, the Lighthouse Trail Inn is one of the park's most popular hiking routes, leading visitors to the iconic Lighthouse Rock Formation. The path offers stunning views of the colorful cliffs and unique geological features that define the canyon. Hikers are encouraged to carry plenty of water, especially during the hot summer, as temperatures can soar above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Similarly, Big Bend National Park draws tourists with its diverse ecosystems, unique geological features, and opportunities for stargazing under some of the darkest skies in Texas. These places emphasize responsible tourism practices to protect their fragile environments while allowing visitors to appreciate the remarkable scenery and rich biodiversity. So, the Texas Badlands, rich in scenic beauty and unique geological formations, remain primarily uninhabitable due to their challenging geography, harsh climate, and protected areas. The rugged landscapes, extreme temperatures, limited water sources, and rocky soil make daily life here tricky for anyone looking to establish a sustainable home. While tourism provides a glimpse into the allure of these areas, Sustaining a permanent population in the Texas Badlands remains a formidable challenge. In a state where vast expanses of land are already underpopulated, the Texas Badlands stand out as some of the most remote locations.